Hello out there, YouTube. What's going on, guys? It is Dedon here, the most chill COD player, bringing you another uh, Call of Duty Ghost Kim Strike, this time with the M27 LMG. In case you missed my last video, I talked about this gun uh, kind of in depth, how I thought it was possibly one of the best guns that we've ever seen in Call of Duty. Um, just really, really strong gun. Borderline, perhaps, could be considered OP. Um, with rapid fire, which is what you see me using on today, silencer and rapid fire. I pick up a decently fast Kim strike here. And uh, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video in the background. Today, I want to talk about um, kind of some more LMG topic stuff. I want to talk about how to balance LMGs in the future, because especially uh, coming off of uh, Black Ops 2, where LMGs were really, really strong. And in this game, the LMGs are also really, really strong. Obviously, um, you know, they have really, really strong range and everything. So let's kind of first take a step back. Let's take a step back and talk about the attributes that are normally attributed with LMGs, at least in the past couple of Call of Duty. So, um, of course, they have really, really good range. You know, most of the LMGs are going to have longer ranges. Uh, so few, fewer bullets kill at range than your assault rifles. Um, and the last couple of Call of Duties have also shown us um, LMGs without a whole lot of recoil which is something that in previous Call of Duties, most of the LMGs had really, really strong recoil. Um, and, you know, they weren't really used that much, especially since you didn't have Stalker until Modern Warfare 3. But in Modern Warfare 3, there was a lot of visual recoil, so not a lot of people used the LMGs. Um, yeah, so you have really long range, you have a big clip, low mobility, bad hip fire, really good penetration. Um, I think that pretty much describes it. So how can we balance that out? Um, to promote people to move with LMGs, because uh, that's one of the big problems with LMGs is the low mobility, and so you, you you it just kind of automatically promotes camping just because you can't move that fast anyway. Um, so a lot of people will just sit at head glitches um, and kind of post up and get those long range gunfights uh, to their advantage. Which fair enough, that's probably how the LMG is in air quotations should be used. Um, my thoughts, I think that the uh, that the added range and the added damage should just be taken away, um, in my opinion. I think that it shouldn't be any stronger or weaker than any of the assault rifles. I feel like if it has, you know, about the same damage and range statistics as most of your assault rifles, then it will still be competitive in a lot of situations. Um, but the big thing would just be that you don't uh, you don't have the advantage, like a really strong advantage or range. So sitting back um, on a head glitch and trying to get those long range gunfights is is not going to really help you all that much because you can be outshot with an AR, uh, providing the other person has better aim. Um, as far as the mobility goes, I think we should keep it the same. I think the big thing is just the damage and the range needs to be reduced to um, be comparable with the rest of the assault rifles in the game. So your big advantage here is a gun with not a whole lot of recoil, um, decent range and damage, but then also has a huge clip. That's your advantage. The fact that you can spray bullets, you know, support your teammates on objectives and stuff. That's that's the advantage of using an LMG. I think that's at least that's the way it should be. Um, and um, also, we need to get rid of these newbie sites, get rid of tracker sites and uh, thermal scopes and all that crap on here. Um, that also just promotes camping because since you have no peripheral vision, you're just going to stay in one place uh, with you know a narrow field of view. So that's how I think you balance LMGs. You know, drop the damage, drop the range, um, and just stick with the advantages of having a large clip and uh, decent range and stuff. So. That's my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Uh, make sure to leave a like on the video if you did like it. Uh, dislike the shit out of it if you uh, didn't like it. Make sure to check out all the links below in the description. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.